Hey there, everyone. My name is Nate. This is Good Morning Liberty. It's Monday. Hope you guys are all excited about that. I always love Mondays because it's a fresh new week to uh, get that money for sure. So today I'm going to talk about Medicaid a little bit. I saw an article over the weekend talking about how over 4,000 people have been kicked off of Medicaid in Arkansas. I don't know if you guys saw anyone talking about this, um, but I thought it was something good to discuss on here because what Arkansas did was they have actually enacted some work requirements for their Medicaid program. Now, this is something that not every state has, but it is something that now the Trump administration is allowing. Apparently, the Trump administration is the first administration to allow states to put work requirements on this. And I'll go first off in the same that all of the media so far that I've read about this, all of the articles have angled this as Trump's rules for Medicaid. It's actually the state's rules and what the Trump administration has done is just allowed the states to set their own rules. But they are still trying to tie Trump in with this because uh, what I might read in one of these articles is 4,400 people were kicked off of Medicaid due to Trump's new work requirements. Well or the Trump-backed work requirements, things, things like that. Now, obviously, they're just trying to tie it in the Trump and make him look bad. What the administration has done is allowed states to set their own rules. And Arkansas has chosen to set a rule on their Medicaid that says that you have to spend 80 hours a month, so 20 hours a week on average, either working, looking for a job, volunteering, or going to college, and that's it. Those are the, the requirement is you have to be doing one of those things. That's it. Now, disabled people and people who are taking care of a child are exempt from those rules. So we already get that out of the way. You know, oh, what if you're disabled? Out of the way. If you're disabled or you're taking care of a child, then you don't have to adhere to those rules. So now we have a system that says we will give you assistance if you can't find a job, even if you're looking for a job, and if you're spending your time volunteering somewhere, if you're volunteering at an animal shelter or at a, you know, a senior's home or, or something like that, then we'll still, give you, we'll still give you some help. If you're going to college, we'll still give you some help. But if you're literally just sitting at home all day, doing nothing, you know, then we're not gonna give you any help if you won't even look for a job. And of course, everyone's freaking out about this. And it just kind of brings up to me the question, what kind of society are we living in where people actually believe that it's wrong that you show some kind of effort whatsoever? That if you don't show any effort, that that should just be okay. And that people should just give you money. If you refuse to even look for a job, you don't even have to get a job. You just have to look for one. That's it. You don't have to get hired. I mean, you, you could go volunteer somewhere at an, an, at an animal shelter. That would be great if you could just go volunteer at an animal shelter and still get your Medicaid. But what kind of society are we living in where people are in an uproar about the fact that these p people weren't allowed to just do nothing and receive money for it? What kind of society is that? Is this where we're headed? That's all, I mean, that's really the only point I'm going to make today. We got to pay attention to what little stuff is going on. There's 4,000 people in Arkansas that get knocked off of their Medicaid. Now, first off, that's like 1% of the people that were, on, that were on Medicaid in Arkansas. It's actually, it's not a big number compared to how many people are on it. And it came down to this. Out of all of the, um, the 200,000 people that were on Medicaid in Arkansas, only 17,000 of them had to do something in requirements with these rules because all the other ones already had a job or they met one of the exemptions or they were already volunteering, they were already going to college, they were already doing any of that stuff. There were only 17,000 people that just weren't doing anything. And so out of those people so far, 400 of them have, re have reported following the rules now. 400 of them, of the 17,000, have decided to do this, and the rest of them are on their way to getting kicked out. Once you don't meet these rules for two months, you get kicked off. So 
more and more people are gonna get kicked off of it. But we just have to ask ourselves, what's wrong with that? Why won't these people just go look for a job? Why won't these people go volunteer somewhere? Why won't they go get a job? Everywhere is hiring. They're not disabled and they're not caring for a child because if they were disabled and they were caring for a child, then they wouldn't be getting kicked off. There've been a lot of people complaining about the website because the website's closed from 9 p.m. to 7 a.m. And, th and they're saying that's the reason that these people can't do it because the website isn't open from 9 p.m. to 7 a.m. These people don't do anything during the day. So what, how can we use that as an excuse? That's just a ridiculous cop-out excuse. So anyway, we gotta choose if we wanna live in a society where if you choose to do absolutely nothing, if someone says, hey, all you gotta do is pretend like you're gonna do something and we'll still give you help, and these people still refuse to do that, are we gonna actually have a society where we're upset with the people who refuse to give them help now? Not the people who refuse to help themselves. Remember, all they have to do to help themselves is get up and apply for a job. They don't even have to get a job. They just have to apply for one. They just have to go volunteer somewhere. They just have to decide that they're gonna go to college or something like that if they, if they really don't wanna work. That's all they have to do. So my answer obviously is that it's okay for these people to get kicked off of Medicaid, completely okay. There was a very simple requirement and they chose to not meet it. So guys, we all gotta figure out, I don't know, everyone, just feel like society is going in the wrong direction right now. I feel like everyone's so afraid to work. Everyone hates their, you know, their bosses so much. Everyone hates business owners so much. You know, everyone hates everyone who's successful. And whenever we just have all this resentment towards people who are successful, we're never gonna, we're never gonna have anything. You know, we're just gonna sit there and just be poor your entire life if you just spend all your life hating people who are successful. You're just gonna be poor. You're gonna sit there and wait on the government to give you something all the time. And it's never gonna come through with enough. The government is never gonna give us enough to live on because the government is ran so terribly and inefficiently that it just, it will never happen. We have new people running the government all the time. How can your life plan B, that the government is going to save you when you don't even know who's gonna be in charge of the government after this November. We have no idea who's gonna be running it. How can you at all base your life on the government helping you? You do not know how to, you don't know who's gonna be running the government. You don't know if Bernie Sanders is gonna be the president and even if, even if we do get a socialist who takes care of you on everything. They're only gonna be taking care of you for the time that they're the president and then you have no idea who the next president is. Even if Bernie Sanders got in there and changed everything for what you think is the better, someone else can just come in there and tweak it a little bit and destroy all of it. This government was never made to run the economy. It was never made to give handouts to everyone. It's going to mess all of it up. So stop depending on the government to run your life for you, to keep you safe. The government sucks at everything it does. The only thing the government is good at doing is blowing things up. They're really, really good at blowing things up. That's it. They're not good at building things whatsoever. All right, y'all have a good Monday. Have a good week. I'm gonna be back here tomorrow at 7 a.m. Love you, bye.